good cook can whip up a terrific pasta with Parmesan and olive oil, but if you add caramelized lemon, it just ups the game and makes it so much more flavorful. Before I caramelize the lemon, I'm gonna blanch it. It makes it a lot more tender. So in order to get the lemons ready for blanching, I'm gonna show you the lemon trick. This is what they do in professional kitchens to get the most juice out of every lemon. You cut the ends off, then you have it, quarter it, and then this is the cool part. You stand up your little lemon wedge, and then you cut off this white connective membrane and take out the seeds. And it's so much better because you get so much more juice. And then you just wanna slice them into triangles. So what the blanching does, aside from helping tenderize the lemons, it also takes away some of the bitterness from the pith. So it's important to blanch it before you caramelize it. So you wanna get a pot of salted boiling water, and then you add your lemons and you let them blanch for about two minutes. Now I'm just gonna use a slotted spoon to put these on a paper towel. I wanna to get as much of the moisture out as possible. And the reason for that is they will caramelize better if they're drier. So I'm just gonna blot these dry. The drier these are when you caramelize them, the darker the caramelization will be. I'm actually just gonna fry them. So you could call this pasta with fried lemons, but caramelized lemon sounds a little sexier. You just need a little oil just to kind of coat the bottom of the pan. Pinch of sugar, which helps encourage the browning, and a little bit of salt. You wanna basically move these into one layer and then kind of just let them sit because the more you move them around, the less brown they're gonna get. Just take them out as they start to turn really brown. You want them almost burnt, but not quite. And then leave your pan because I'm gonna add the rest of the pasta sauce ingredients to it. By the way, the reason that I take these out instead of just leaving them in the pan and adding the rest of the ingredients is because right now they've got a little bit of crunch and they have a really gorgeous color. The second they hit liquid, they start to lose the crunch, they start to lose the color, and they're just not as good. So I'm gonna make a little butter, lemon, zest, olive oil sauce with a bit of chili in it, and that's gonna coat the pasta. I'm gonna just let that melt. And now I'm gonna add the chili flakes, and this is lemon zest. And I wanna cook this a little bit in the butter and the oil before I add the pasta water, just to bring out their flavors. They call this blooming the spices, or blooming the aromatics. And as soon as you smell it, then you add a little bit of salt first, and pepper, don't forget the pepper. And then this is reserved pasta cooking water. And this is the magic stuff. This is what turns all this into a sauce. I'm whisking it because I want to kind of emulsify it. I want to bring the fat and the water together. And you just let that cook for like a minute or two just to reduce it a little bit. And now I'm gonna add my pasta to the pan. Now this pasta is about one minute shy of being totally cooked because I'm gonna finish it in the sauce in the pan. So this is one of those amazing Italian techniques that works so well. Because what happens is as the pasta finishes cooking, it's also absorbing the flavor of the sauce, which is nice. Got my Parmesan right here. So you wanna work pretty quickly at this point because you don't want the pasta to overcook and you also don't want the cheese to melt entirely. You just want it to kind of start to stick to the strands. My lemon juice, I'm gonna add probably the juice of a whole lemon. I might need to add a little bit more later. And now I'm gonna add in the caramelized lemons. And now we've got parsley and celery leaves. And the celery leaves are really nice. They're a little bit unexpected. And then now I'm just gonna serve this out into individual bowls and add the final garnish. See, this is such a great pantry dish. And I know that that bowl of lemons looks really pretty on your counter, but if you put it in the fridge, they'll last a lot longer, and then you can make this dish anytime you want.